Why does long hair typically look good on women while short hair typically look good on men? Is there any biological explanation for this? Well, long hair sure looks good on Deborah Shelton. Is there a biological reason it looks good on her? Yes, she has a beautiful face. Her hair enhances her overall looks. She inherited the right DNA. If she hadn't, she would never have worn Miss USA. Anyhow, the idea that men don't look good with long hair have been disproven many times. The example is rock musicians. They experience a lot of love from women. But overall, men and women, long hair looks good if you have the face for it. That's the biological component. Having the right brown structure and facial features that are flattened by long hair. And short hair too. Why more women than men have long hair? That's cultural. For a man to have long hair in our culture, he's got to have at least a bit of a rebellious streak. Because short hair is standard, especially in the business world. Except for the rock music business. Although even there, the accountants and other men who are strictly on the business side of it actually have short hair. For a man to grow his hair long, he can't be too thin-skinned because a lot of guys will give him a hard time. But the perception of what looks good in terms of hair length is subjective and can vary across cultures and individuals. However, there are some societal and biological factors that can contribute to the common perception that long hair typically looks good on females while short hair typically looks good on males. It's important to note that these are just generalization and individual preferences that can differ. So societal norms and expectation plays a significant role in shaping our perception of beauty. Certain cultures have long-standing tradition and ideals that associate long hair with femininity and short hair with the masculinity. These cultural norms influence our perception of what is aesthetically pleasing. For example, in Native American cultures, both males and females kept their hair long. The other societal factor is gender stereotypes. Gender stereotypes can influence our perception of how certain physical attributes including hair length align with traditional gender roles and expectation. Long hair is often associated with femininity, while short hair is associated with masculinity, reinforcing these gender norms. And the other thing is biological factor. Evolutionary signaling, some researchers argue that long healthy hair in females may be seen as an indicator of overall health and fertility, which could have evolutionary roots in the context of mate selection. Long, lustrous hair might be perceived as a signal of reproductive fitness and attractiveness. And the other biological factor is sexual dimorphism. Humans exhibit sexual dimorphism which refers to physical differences between males and females. It is hypothesized that differences in hair length contribute to visual distinction between genders, helping to enhance sexual attractiveness and aid in mate selection. It is important to note that societal and cultural perceptions of beauty and hair length can change over time. Hairstyles and preferences are influenced by fashion trends, personal expression, and individual choices. For example, in the 60s and 70s, both males and females used to rock long hair. And in the 80s, afro hair trend. I actually, I am a 2000s kid and, and when I see the old pictures of my parents or relatives, I can guess which decade they are in based on the hairstyle they rock. Anyways, what is considered to be attractive or good looking is subjective and can vary widely from person to person regardless of gender. But what's more important is facial harmony. If long hair harmonizes with your facial features, that could be your signature hairstyle. But if short hair harmonizes with your facial features like I, buzz cut is actually my go-to hairstyle. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed and learned something, 
Make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.